What's going on guys, Robert from Prime Reed here and if you have seen any, any of my other videos on bench pressing or chest training I talk a lot about scapular retraction, I stress uh, and I, I really put the emphasis on the importance of it and there are two reasons for that, number one is very very important that you understand the, how to, to stabilize the scapula and master the ability to stabilize the scapula from different directions at a young age so you don't run into issues later on uh, and number two is because I haven't done that when I was younger and now I do have issues that, that I have to deal with. I actually did a, a video recently with Omar Isuf and Jake on, the, on my current situation and they explained a lot about it. So if you're coming from that video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about it and exactly what I do to, to correct it. And also this, is, this video is going to be, hopefully it's going to be good for uh, and helpful for people that do have knots and are having a hard time to stabilize the scapula in this position. Okay, so for me, uh, for my personal issue is that my right shoulder, so my entire right wing, sits up and forward. So I have a little bit of anterior rotation, it also sits higher because I have knots right in my mid back, right in my mid trap. And actually my right side, this could help you guys as well, diagnose what issues you have. My right side is the victim of my left side, so um, it, it act like the, the cause of my problem is actually not the right side, which is in pain, it's actually my left side. My entire left shoulder and trap is super tight and even my pec that does not that my right side has to compensate for. Alright, so it's been about four years since I have been having these issues and I haven't done anything about it. And now it's obviously got a little bit worse and uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time for me to correct it. So if you're not if you're in a, if you're in a similar situation or you just start to have knots and, and weird pains in your mid-back or upper pecs, I suggest that you take care of it now so you don't have issues later on. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys some corrective exercises that I start that I'm doing currently. And when you do these corrective exercises, it's by the way, it's corrective exercises, meaning that it's not just a, a, a warm up. Okay, you actually have to do three or four sets or 15 to 20 reps of these. Okay, on the on the exercise, I'm also going to show you some um, some stretches as well. So let's get into it. So you're going to need a peanut. It's called a peanut. There's different sizes and a resistance band. Okay, so number one, you're going to start with dynamic stretching and I'm going to show you a couple of them. One, three. Alright, so you're going to take the resistance band and you're going to put it around anything. Okay, this is a little bit thick for it, but it will work. And you're going to put the resistance band on the elbow, on both sides. All right, then you're going to retract the shoulder in this position, get my back. All right, so now all you're going to do is just squeeze the glutes. Keep my, it's my right shoulder, right? So I'm going to put it down, force it down, and I'm going to do these. All right, so up, forward, and then retract. And I want to hold it for about one or two seconds and keep doing that for 20 reps. Just like that. And get a good pull. And by the way, if you, this will hurt. Okay, it's a corrective exercise. It will kind of be painful and uncomfortable. Uh, but you have to go through it and actually get the 20 reps for three or four sets. Uh, the second one is you're just gonna put your foot on it, and you're gonna make a W. So you're gonna get your shoulder or your elbows to the side. You're gonna bring. The resistance band right here, get it from the back. So I'm going to retract my scapula, both, squeeze the glutes, and I'm going to bring it to the side just like that without losing the stability on my scapula. Okay, so I'm not trying to do any of this. I'm locking my shoulder blades together, and again, you want to hold it for about a second, down, just like that. And again, this is very, very uncomfortable, even painful. Alright, so you can do that for again, 3 sets, 20 reps. It's corrective exercises, I cannot stress that enough. If you do just one set until you feel pretty good, it's not enough. You gotta do it, especially if, you're, if your case is severe like mine. Oh, by the way, if you don't have any issues, these are still great exercises. 
to do as a warm up before you begin lifting. Uh, another one. So then you're going to get the peanuts. So you're going to get a peanut and a 10 pound dumbbell. And you want to put your two mid traps on the peanut. Just like that. You're going to raise yourself and hold the dumbbell up on top. You want to find the knot where it's painful. And then you want to retract the scapula and keep doing that. You can also just stay here and hold it as the pressure of the dumbbell and you being up will push into the peanut and it will release the knots as well. But you want to hold it for about a minute. Okay, doing this for 15 seconds is not enough. Also, you want to make sure the intensity of the pain is only 6 or 7 out of 10 the most and you want to do it for longer. Okay, you never want to do, you never want to stretch or release knots with where it is very, very painful and you only hold it for 10 seconds. That's, that's, not, that's actually going to do a lot more damage than good. And also you want to, remember I said, you want to retract the scapula from different positions. Okay, so this is one position. Also, you want to bring the dumbbell back and you want to retract the scapula here as well. So hold the dumbbell here and retract the scapula and hold it. Again, if you look at my butt, look at my glutes, they're up in the air and the entire pressure of my, of my body weight is into the peanut. So release. And you try to scatter. It's a very subtle movement. And also with this, you want to take about a minute on each position. Okay, so let's say you start in a mid traps for a minute, then go up, up higher, and even higher. Depending on where you have your knots, just uh, locate it first and then hold it for at least a minute. Alright, the next one is very good for trap release. So all you want to do is get a squat rack. You just want to get a squat rack, okay? Get the bar and put it on your trap. And you're gonna just roll it around. As soon as you find the knot, press into it and hold it. Okay, again, you want the intensity of the pain to be a six or seven out of 10 the most, and hold it for about at least 30 to, to one minute, 30 seconds to one minute. Just doing it this for 10 seconds is not enough. You can do even more damage. Okay, so as soon as you hold it for about 30, 40 minutes, even a minute if you can, just keep rolling it around and back up and do this for two, three sets. Do it with the other side as well. Alright, so now for the pec, remember everything is interconnected. Okay, so your traps all the way to your pec. So let's say you're having a pain here, it doesn't mean that the cause is right here. It could be somewhere on the left side, whatever. So I will just stretch out my back and my pecs as well. So real, like an amazing stretch that I got from Jake. Uh, on my pack is this one right here. So you get a bar, put it slightly lower than you, and you're just gonna press yourself into it. You get a 10 pound weight, and just hold it. So right now the bar is pressing into my knot in my pack, and I'm just relaxing my arm. And again, I'm gauging the pain, all six or seven out of 10 minutes. Hold it for at least 30 seconds, minimum 30 seconds. Okay, and then you can do the other side. Yeah. Alright, one last one. Again with the resistance band. You want to step on it. And you want to do the equivalent of the upright row. Right? So you want to retract the scapula. Get tight in that position. You know, the upright row. Retract the scapula here. Squeeze your glutes. And you're going to hold. Make sure you don't give up. And you keep that. Scapula retract the entire time. It's very uncomfortable, especially at the there. But this forces blood into the muscle and you're gonna release the knots. Again, you're gonna do this for about three to five reps, about five seconds each. Okay? Now make sure you retract the scapula. Come up, retract the scapula again, and hold for about five seconds and repeat. All right guys, that's it for the video. And you wanna do these corrective exercises in a row. Start with a more dynamic one, the one that I showed you with the elbows, and then move more into the stretch as well. Um, and you wanna do this one after the other for three to four sets, and 15 to 20 reps on the one that we use repetitions, and the timed ones, minimum 30 seconds, but an intensity of six to seven maximum. Okay, if you can hold it for even longer, that's even better, but obviously gauge it by the amount of pain that you get. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.